Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride where we are channeling the man in the moon. I don't usually do videos on Saturday morning, but um, I think we all want to do a little victory dance. Right? Now I know it is not a nice thing to look at the troubles of others even though we don't like them and relish that. That is not a nice thing to do. And don't call people up and say ha ha. <laughs> That's not okay. But you can do a little victory dance on your own right now. Especially because this does really mean there will be less violence at the transition and it does mean that uh, the country has been served. Don't forget that all of us on this channel, you know, we sat and meditated for Trump's benefit. Uh, ultimately, um, maybe the universe heard our prayers <laughs> and benefited us all. Notice, Mother Nature <laughs> has power. Right, and she gave a big old smackdown to um, these Trump supporters and Donald Trump himself. You notice I'm wearing the shirt that we designed. My um, viewers, Lena's viewers, all of us uh, got together and created these shirts. Um, they may not um, <laughs> really be so effective after a month, so this might be the last chance to get them. If you go to my website, you can see the uh, merch. We're just about to the point where we broke even and the rest will be profit. 10% of the profit will go to defeat Donald Trump. Um, we also might just give it to the Democratic Party in general in um, maybe even in a key races to make sure that uh, uh, the right senators win. Um, here's a mask, right? If you can see that, it's the uh, uh, Trump Truthless Tiger one. Here's a good one, too. And I'll tell you my favorites, um, the shirt that looks like the Truthless Tiger, this one, and uh, my Trump Trumpocalypse mask. Both of them got swiped, right, even though I'm in Australia. Somebody liked them so much that they took them. So if you go to my website and look at merch, you'll see uh, these, and uh, we'll be moving into a profit zone. Understand it's not really just about the profit, it's just about the ability to take the meme factor away from the right wing and serve it back to um, uh, people right so um, let's take a look and see what's this gonna mean right, what spirit what about is Trump gonna how long is Trump gonna be sick 10 days to two weeks that's what the first thing I get I get like red for 10 days I, I I do get that he's gonna get fairly sick uh, yeah guys I guess I just don't want to clue you in notice that the readings that we've done for a while we keep all of us all your readers kept seeing ships and the ships kind of turn around what's the ship it doesn't seem like it's a new country I think this is really symbolic this is just the illness coming back um, to the White House where many people are sick so again let's just focus here how many days how long will he be sick I see him hacking up caught he's really coughing so um, understand that you know he's contagious while he's sick so it's not just that he's going to be ill. You know, none of the people that work with him are, are going to really want to be anywhere near him. This could not possibly be worse for um, the White House and Trump. You know, how incompetent were these people that they couldn't even keep the president safe? Now we are in the midst of a national security crisis. We have an ill president who cannot lead and protect us. It's really incredible. It's just, he's just seeing red. Everybody's seeing red. People are afraid to go near him now. Nobody wants to touch him. He's just political suicide. That's just what it is. So spirit about 10 days. Just a lot of, so much is gonna happen in, in those 10 days. It just, I think I, I, we're gonna have to do like 20 readings on this. It's just, so much is happening. It's just like everywhere you look, there's just like crisis, 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 crisis. And that's for him, not for you guys, okay? So the luck has finally run out. There's nothing he can do. He will be ill and in a hospital and have no power to do anything. He won't be able to speak to the people. Um, he likely won't tweet. Even that, it's gonna just so much. He's gonna get so much scorn. So you live by the media, you die by the media. So how many days? 
okay, I'm not so sure about the days. I think I said 10 days, but I don't think that's even so important. There'll be a couple of weeks of problems where I think he can't, he just can't speak directly to people. He's going to look really bad when it's over. I swear, when I was watching that, I, you know, Leon and I were talking about the, um, the election, you know, about the uh, debate. I swear he looked worse. He looked like he was ill. I know he wears a lot of makeup, but geez. So let's see. Huh. I'm seeing this ship again. Yeah, and it's like the ship has come to port, right? You know, it is just exactly like the Spanish flu. Same thing happened, you know. Ships, you know, we went to World War One, then he came back, it got worse. So it's just come back on him. Finally, he's getting some some uh, some karma, some comeuppance. Uh, so uh, it's like going to be a month. You know, he might not actually be totally ill and suffering the whole time or something, but it's just going to be a month that he's not able to do any damage. Right? Again, you know, the security of our country is is actually at risk, but we're better off. Because, um, you know, the transition of power, he's going to lose by a bigger margin. Uh, certainly the um, military is not going to be on Donald Trump's side this time around. It's the authority, too. And no longer will Trump supporters have any authority in a conversation. Uh, hmm. Yeah, again, nature bats last, man. All right. So, what what are other other consequences, spirit, to this illness for Trump? It's just it's just like he's broken. He's just broken in half. That's what I see. He's gonna get, and this is gonna make him even more desperate. I found his debating style desperate. Where before it was supposed to be the outsider, and he looks really cocky. Now he's the last time he was just desperate, desperate, desperate. So it's gonna make it almost impossible for him to get out of the psychiatric psychological desperation mode so that he could speak to anybody not to mention can you think of the questions that the media is going to ask him i would be insisting that he wear a mask if i were the media how do i know he's not going to give it to me how do i know he's not over it Right, and if the media doesn't take advantage of this, you know, give them a call. They better ask some good questions. Okay. So look, um, you know, this is the sad part. You know, we are still facing you know, massive deaths because of the COVID. I I'm, I'm still getting that there will be several hundred thousand more deaths. It's not going to, that's the sad part about this. It's not going to... You know, it's not going to cause anybody to to start preventative actions now in the middle of the crisis. It's almost just, it's just going to continue. It's going to keep keep going. And I mean, the only upside of that is that the Republican Party is going to own it. Even after he loses his election, he's still going to be in office. He's still going to be incompetent. There's going to be no contact tracing. Um, there's going to be no leader to stop this until he's physically out of office. And this is gonna really be bad for the Republican Party in general. Like, this is so bad they may never recover. Yeah, it'll be uh, a dis it's just, I see the Republican um, Senate and it's just gonna be a disaster. Like, they just lost all the votes that they could, you know, all the states that were kinda in the middle, done. It's just done. This is a sea change. You're not crazy. This really is going to change the whole dynamic for the for the rest of your life. Mm. Yeah, and they recognize, you know, if the debate wasn't a bad enough disaster, they recognize that this is like the Titanic ship sinking. Spirit, are we going to have problems with foreign nations? Some problem with Mexico, and that's not a 
like a war or anything. It's just a problem. And it might even just be like a problem in their political system having to do with COVID, right? And the, you know, interactions of the countries. But basically America has become a laughing stock. If it wasn't already. So is there anything else that we need to worry about? Um, some problems also in the Middle East. Um, America is also not able to respond to problems around the world because there's nobody there to respond. There's no cogent plan. There's no political, um, you know, no political apparatus even to, to do anything, even if they wanted to. Others in the White House are ill. There's going to be several other people that show up as unwell. Maybe even one of Trump's children is going to turn out to be sick. I think they're already hiding the number of people that are sick in the White House. So are there any other um, problems that are going to evolve? Look, this is, I mean, it sounds terrible, but this is a solution. Um, those uh, three percenters, those right-wing people that were going to go and intimidate us at the election, they have been brought to heel. Um, they have been embarrassed enough so that they don't want to go and, you know, be the focus of Trump's, you know, will. They don't want to do that as much anymore. Some of them will do it anyway because they like fighting. But the the numbers of people who are going to be willing to do that and that any sympathy for Proud Boys or any others, it's just, it's going to be dissipating. It's going to be a source of embarrassment now. Yeah, it's going to be all about America right now. We're not going to be worried about foreign. We don't have time to think about the foreign countries. It's going to be such an all-consuming disaster for the United States. And again, maybe that's not the worst thing. Finally, we're taking, we're looking at ourselves instead of invading foreign countries. Um, okay, so Pence will be in charge. He's going to try to get some of the stuff done. He's going to try to... Um, contact trace and those things he's going to be disappointed he's not going to be able to pull anything out of his hat it's just it's just too late there's not been a response you can't create one in 10 days now everybody knows where this is going everybody in politics knows what's going to happen and again everybody look at the bright side of all of this because there is a silver lining are finally we're making a huge shift in our political system we might go back to being a democracy and having a fair election and all of these things and all of those people who supported Trump including members of the Supreme Court all of those people have blood on their hands and they're gonna have to answer for it um, in this lifetime and the next this is a moral victory more than anything else. And again, I don't want to relish anybody's illness, but, you know, I, Dave Johnson, know somebody personally who died of COVID. It is, it is deeply, uh, deeply saddening to me that these things are happening. Um, and it does feel a little bit better that they're going to stop. Right? On that note, thanks for watching.